friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here for another garden update or tour. And we're focusing today on the front yard garden down here. I'm right up here in the on the front deck, south facing. And I did do a tour of this a couple of weeks ago and I'll link to that video down below. And if you are new to my channel, what's going on here is that even though we have a few different pieces of property, we live right here on this little shy one third acre piece corner lot in a neighborhood so everything that we're growing is right here is in this little area right here so we're trying to make the most out of all our spaces around here so i have various different garden areas i have a little skinny herb garden over here on the west side i have another herb garden and berries too and then in the back is where like a main garden is and this front area is over the years since i started my channel actually is something we've expanded more and more and has become another main garden area where i grow vegetables and herbs so i'll be going over each of those and then we have the back deck garden we have the greenhouse and then we have a couple of greenhouses in the making and the chicken coop and so much more going on in the back so anyway we're starting with the front i'll I'll, uh, let's get busy on this. I just wanted to let you know if you're new, kind of what's going on here and just be watching for more of these various tours down the road. And if you're curious of previous years, I have ones that go clear back to 2016 that you can check out. They're in different playlists, uh, garden 2016, 2017, 2018, and so on and so forth. So let's get busy on this piece down here. Or actually I moved down there. Let me just uh, talk about the screen stock just for a minute. So I'm growing a bunch of strawberries in here, plus many other pots all along here and no no ripe strawberries yet but i got a lot coming on everything's late this year but anyway i wanted to explain real quickly if you have the green stock or are interested in purchasing it i am really happy with it it's just one of the many options you can use to expand your area because it's a vertical garden but i wanted to point out the fact that i do every few days try to uh, remember to turn it a quarter turn so that the plants all the way around are getting an equal amount of light because they tend to stay more shaded on this side since this is the north side and get more light here on this side so just a thought to think about so let's go ahead and walk around here just going to do a quick flyby here of stuff i already talked about in my previous video so this area here is all fenced in because during the uh fall actually late summer through uh spring i keep this all opened up in here for the chickens this whole area so they come through a little gap in the fence right there because they hang out in the backyard most of the time and then uh during the winter and fall and early spring they can hang out in here dig around lay a little chicken manure around in here and get all the bugs and baby slugs and so on and so forth so they can keep this area fairly cleaned up for me and prepared for gardening in the spring through summer and so then once i start planting the potatoes and so on i extend the fence goes around and then um it starts there and we have this excess there and so what i do is we bring it all the way across so they can still hang out back there close to the house where it's nice and shady and behind the sting and nettle they love it back in there and so they'll still come out here in the morning and sometimes usually not in the afternoon because it gets too warm but uh you can see them walking around back there so anyway that's what's happening there i wanted to explain that real quick now what you'll see here is all this tan stuff you see is just grass clippings we've brought over a few a couple of weeks ago from the other piece of property and we just put that on top of the potato plants and let it break down and around the rhubarb the rhubarb loves it but the reason the rhubarb might look a little you know you'll see the edges there is because of the back and forth warm cold warm cold warm cold that we've had that has been even more extreme this year than in previous years so now that we we're starting to get a little more uh, a nice stretch of warm weather you can see some new leaves coming in and so um, I've been backing off harvesting any until it, it bounces back again. So this mess over here is a work in progress. We're going to have to take this peach tree out because it looks like it up and died on us. And then there's nothing really going on in this box right here. What I got to do is take a lot of this material out because this is all just silt from the other property. Mix in some soil with it and maybe some peat like we did in our other boxes and then and just start all over so i've got some strawberries that it started growing in here these are the ever bearing 
and you can see they're not as healthy because this is just silt I've got one carrot but anyway uh, things don't do well in this box so I got to redo all this and then what I'm going to do the next haul of grass we get I'm going to lay it down in here with some cardboard and kill all this grass in here so that's the other thing I like about using grass clippings as a mulch layer if you put it on really thick over grass and weeds it will kill them but if you put it around your perennials and your potatoes uh, it can actually be very good for them and the potatoes love it they do really well so I'm not sure why there's an open area there. It looks like I might have had a couple of potatoes that didn't do well, <laughs> usually, which is weird because potatoes usually do really good here. But anyway, these potatoes, I just should be ready to harvest now, but you can see they're not because of how cold it got. It's just been crazy. So anyway, um, right here, uh, there doesn't look like there's much going on in this box. Normally, these when Patrick made all these boxes, he made them to be carrot boxes specifically. Well, you can see I've got carrots growing. I didn't plant, obviously, anybody who knows anything about carrots. These are all last year's carrots that I left in there intentionally. I don't have any new carrots planted. I'm using some of these excess spaces for starting other things. Like right here is the bachelor's buttons that I'm gonna try i've got a few in here just to get them started to kind of see what i think about them is this a safe area i can uh, keep them and then last year's carrots that i left in there i left intentionally so they can go to seed and then here i got a couple of the um, walking onions egyptian walking onions right here that i got this year and they look really healthy and you can see down here a few more things i'm trying this year is the um, sweet woodruff and again, I don't plan on keeping these in these boxes. They're just here for now. And then right there is actually Nigella sativa. So that's gonna give me some black seed. I ended up with three little starts. I tried to grow it last year and didn't get anything, but uh, at least I got three. And so anyway, back, so over there, rhubarb potatoes mostly. And then when the, the potatoes are done, what I'll do is I'll then plant the amaranth, which should be ready by that point. And the reason my truck is still parked there is because I still have grass in there that I'm hauling around to the back. Because we went out and mowed yesterday. Well, Patrick went out and mowed and we raked up a bunch of grass, brought it home. There's still more to go get and bring back. So some more carrots again that I'm allowing to go to seed. Uh, this onion here I just moved out to the front you can see it's much smaller than the rest because it was behind this carrot here and I didn't think about it at the time because it wasn't that big then and so it wasn't getting enough light the slugs got to it so I moved it out here so just yesterday and here's some more bachelor's button and then another Egyptian walking carrot or walking onion and then here um, this used to be quite different I used to have a an echinacea right here and a nice little patch of oregano right here. And then you can see the peppermint. I just let the peppermint do what it wants, but even the peppermint is very, very thin. So what happened last year is I had a bunch, I'm still working on it. I can still see some down in there. Whole bunch of um, creeping buttercup that had, it had been back in here and wasn't bothering anything then, but all of a sudden it moved in and choked out. I was surprised. It choked out my oregano that had been established here for years, my echinacea, and a bunch of my peppermint. So that's one of the, this is a work in progress. Again, as I get in there and finish cleaning out all that uh, buttercup, and then I'm going to lay a bunch more grass in here. So uh, grass clippings that is and then I'm just going to let that peppermint take back over here I'm not worried about the oregano because I do have other oregano plants that are doing great and I don't know I may consider the sweet woodruff up here too like the peppermint sweet woodruff I don't mind herbs growing in amongst themselves as long as they get along so I've got peppermint growing amongst right up through my sage that's totally cool with me and all back in there with the marshmallow and so on and so forth in fact the peppermint will come like you can see right here right up through this japanese maple it'll come right up through the top of this azalea and the roadie over there and that's fine i'll just stand on the deck and harvest it from there when i need to so that works out pretty good for me there and oh i forgot to mention the comfrey this is a lily by the way a day lily and those are edible back in there is comfrey i have been harvesting it but it just suddenly went ballistic 
So it's all back in there. I've got more. That's just some of my comfort, comfort right there. Okay, I gotta finish up this video. It's starting to really warm up out here and I still gotta go out to the other piece of property so I can get some more grass clippings to bring to finish out to put down in this area and to put some more in the back garden and some other various areas i'll cover in in future videos so anyway i hope you enjoyed this week's update hopefully next week i'll have another one coming out and then maybe it will be the west herb garden or it might be the back deck garden so that you can see all the different things we have going on around here and just learn about some of the different things that we've had to deal with and make changes in just like with the creeping buttercup and how it, it choked out several of my plants out here. Thankfully, I have lots of this stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. But I do love peppermint and want to get that coming back nice and thick in there like it used to be. Okay, well, go ahead and share down below how your gardens are doing. Some of you who are in the south, I know, are much farther ahead than we are. And we are, we're always a little farther behind anyway because of where we live. But this year at least another month behind than what used to be normal for us because it keeps getting colder and our, our winters keep dragging out longer and longer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.